Hello and welcome to Old Dog New Trails. My name is Cole, I'm here with my dog Zoe, and uh, we are outside the carriage house where we live today because we're gonna be testing out an SUV tent. And I got the tent, I'm very excited to check it out. So I'm gonna do it here in the yard because the best thing to do when you get a new piece of camping equipment is to, to check it out at home so you know what you're doing before you get out you know, in the wild and, uh, and then you're trying to figure it out. So I'm gonna check it out here. It's a beautiful day, so let's get started. She thinks it's already time to go car camping. Zoe, we're not going car camping today. Not today. We're just gonna check out the new tent. All right, no car today. Sorry about that. Right, so this is the right line. Hi, Zelda. Hello. Yes, yes, you're in the shot. Don't worry, you're in the shot. Don't worry, you're in the shot. This is the right line gear, universal fit, SUV tent. Um, I ordered it online because it was on sale. <laughs> I gotta admit, I probably wouldn't have spent the over $300 that this thing was new, but I saw it on sale for $169. It was like half price and I said, yeah. Forgive me for not doing the whole, like, opening the box to reveal the product bit that so many people do on YouTube. I, you know, I, I, I was excited. I opened the box and I saw this and then, but I stopped there. Let's see, this is just how it came. It's in a zipper bag and um, the instructions are attached inside. They're on the... Um, some sort of treated treated material. It looks like it would be waterproof. Um, and, uh, and then it looks like everything else is all wrapped in this, uh, in this bundle. So uh, let's, let's take a good look at what this looks like now because I'm gonna need to reference that later when I try to put this away. Because um, I'd love to be able to put it back in the bag and have it take up that same small footprint that this bag takes up. Anyway, there's probably a list of all the parts that comes with, so I ought to look at that. Um, it's saying to just lay it out in a flat area, and actually um, the flat area where I'm going to lay it out is exactly where you're standing right now, so I'm going to have to like move you out of the way. But um, here we go. This thing is going to roll out. It's tied up right now, so let me untie it. Like something tied up on the end there. Uh, these ties are not attached, so let's be aware that uh, those could uh, go missing if you're not careful. And uh, yeah, I expected I would find some other items inside. We've got some cordage strap type things. And uh, probably the the stakes to put those in, the poles, the rain fly, and uh, I think that's it. What's left is the tent. So, uh, you know what maybe I'll do is, uh, maybe I'll set you up for time lapse and we'll, uh, we'll have a go at it that way. What do you say? Okay. We'll do that. What do you think, Zoe? You like it? 
She's like, no, nah, it's hot out here. All right, so as you can see, this thing is pretty tall. I, I'm six foot two. Um, I can stand up under this little canopy uh, awning thing right here. Ooh, Zoe's excited to go in. That opens all the way to the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's already pretty hot in here. But hey, I can stand up. There's like room to spare. I can stretch my arms up. There's a, a thing up at the top to hang the light. There's some pockets. There's a pocket in that corner. I think I got two corner pockets and opposing corners. I'm gonna open up these windows because it's bloody hot in here. Yeah, now, and I think this thing is also double zipped. Come on. But for the SUV part, it's all screened in and uh, windows open. And I'm going to investigate how this now uh, attaches to the car. Okay, so Zoe seems to like it. You can see that I've hooked it up to the back of the car. Got the tailgate open. And uh, yeah, I've got it snugged in pretty good. There's probably a few little gaps that I could tighten up um, how it's attached to the, to the car. But um, yeah, for the most part, this looks pretty good. I think if I had some rain, I might want to snug that up on top a little bit. Uh, of course, it's going to also have a rain fly, which I have not deployed yet. But uh, so far, so good. I, I kind of like this thing. Um, I'm thinking some floor tiles in this tent would be really good. Some snap together floor tiles. I might make that happen soon. The instruction said don't pull these too hard. Don't cinch them up too hard. And uh, that's why uh, it pulled right out when I did so. Um, so lesson learned. And I'll be more careful next time. In the meantime, I guess I, uh, I kind of modified this if you could call that a repair i'm not sure but uh i guess it'll hold for now okay i can't get a very wide angle here but i wanted to show you how i've uh, cinched up these straps to get this nice and about as sealed as i think i'm going to get it around the car both sides here um you know there's still a few gaps uh something creepy crawly uh we're clever uh, or lucky it would find its way in but uh yeah no overall i've got plenty of room to stand up in here this is great anyway so far so good with the uh with the tent i'm gonna leave it set up here and go cool off yeah cool this one off too and then uh i'll probably bring out some of my other camping gear and start thinking about some of the other things I need to bring along for my car camping adventures. So, uh, stay tuned. Another cool thing I noticed is how you can uh, roll up these window uh, shades and there's little ties for them. 
each of the windows has that as well as the front door. When I put down these flooring tiles, uh, which obviously didn't come with the tent, uh, a little addition of mine, but uh, when I put them in, I realized that this tent isn't quite eight by eight. Um, there are two foot squares and uh, you can see how they're sort of bending up there in the back side of the tent because it's just not quite that big. So I might have to modify my tiles. The flooring tiles help with uh, protecting their tent floor from the rubber feet of your tables and chairs and uh, just general wear and tear. The downside to it is if you get any water in here, uh, you know, it'll be uh, sloshing around under on the tiles, you know, uh, perforated tiles, probably a better choice, but uh, this is what I got. So this is what I'm using. I came up with a little solution for screening my windows. I used bits of um, my household screen. What's actually up in those windows up there? I used the scraps from that and just cut some sheets that were big enough to cover this window, you can see. And it just kind of rough cut and I closed it in the window. And then I put in this one, I put a little metal bar that I had that just happened to be the right length and just cut a little piece of plywood scrap I had laying around to the right length there so that it would hold that in place. And that holds that screen in place. I did something similar on the other side. Um, pretty much the same thing, except I used a little bit of wood because I didn't have another piece of metal like that. So I had a couple of thin pieces of wood, did the same thing there. And you can see inside, I've already set up my uh, thermo rest. Let me show you about that. Okay, well, there's really not much to the sleeping platform. I just kind of roughed it in. You can see I've got a thermo rest um, sleeping pad there. And I've got just enough room for that to fit inside. If it's pushed all the way to the seat, it'll fit inside the, the vehicle and I can close the tailgate. Uh, and it's just laying actually on top of another piece of foam, which is a uh, packing foam from like uh, equipment cases. And that's sitting on just a piece of half inch plywood that's propped up with some two by fours just to kind of level it out there. Um, not ideal and certainly uh, not what I envision for any long-term car camping experience, but just to see like how this feels, I'm actually considering camping here tonight. So I've gotten this far and it's uh, just about dinner time. So I'm gonna go inside and eat and uh, then come back out here and make my bed. So I said earlier that I was going to uh, camp in the car tonight and uh, well, uh, while I was breaking for dinner, um, I got a call to come into work tomorrow because there's some tech work that needs to be done at the theater where I work. So um, I got to go in early and do some tech work, which means tonight wouldn't be the best night for me to try sleeping in the car. This means I'm going to have to disconnect the tent from the car and drive off tomorrow, which will be a good experiment to see how that goes. So that's what we're going to do in the morning. And uh, I'm going to call it a day today on the video. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll be back tomorrow, but that'll be in a minute for you. So here we go. I know I said I wasn't going to sleep in here tonight, and I'm not, but I just couldn't help myself. I'm so excited about this. So I went ahead and grabbed my sleeping bag, and I grabbed my favorite pillow, which of course, you know, why wouldn't I bring my favorite pillow car camping? So uh, I've got my pillow, and uh, I brought it down here, and I've got my camping lights on. If you can see well enough, i got another light here. Uh, it's probably dark in there for the camera, but uh, yeah, it's just an Impreza, so it's a little bit of a low bridge for me. I'm a big guy, but uh, once I'm in there, I think it's pretty comfy. <clears throat> Not too bad at all. I think this is going to work. It's just not going to work for me to do it tonight. So, uh, 
once again, I will say good night. And uh, tomorrow we're going to have to disattach this and drive away. All right, so I'm in a little bit of hurry to get to work, so I'm just going to put my stuff in the car, and then i got to disconnect it and get out of here and go to the theater. I took the, I took the bed out, the platform, and the, and the sleeping pad and all. I took all that out last night, so I'm just ready to roll off. These are hooked up to the windshield wipers, actually, because I don't have a roof rack. What? I left my little window screens in last night. I'm glad it didn't rain. Simple enough, I'm all unhooked. Gotta go. Thanks for watching. Probably gonna need that.